Hey guys, what's up? Alaric from AppFind here, like my new uh, background, pretty cool. I thought I'd change everything to the Matrix, so uh, might as well do that too. So uh, guys, don't forget to check out my vlog where I explain all the cool stuff down in the description, like the QR code and the bit.ly link right to the uh, iTunes page, really cool. Alright guys, so basically our review is on Lock Screen Designer. Uh, this is 99 cents in the app store, and it's one of those cool lock screen designing apps. So, you know the lock screen at the beginning where I had my, uh, my, my own lock screen, which is my personal app find lock screen. Well, this is one of those apps that helps you design and decide how to use every aspect of your lock screen. Now, basically what you can do is you first choose a base. Now, you can either look at this big portrait zone where you have all these different HD retina display um, cool stuff so say you like this or you can also go into the picking mode and if you just want to see a bunch the time they they provide a ton of these now we can go into frames so basically what frames lets you do is frames frames the outside of the um, of where the top and the bottom is so look at this so it'll look like there are lights coming down uh, flowers I particularly like this fire one, so let's preview that. I click preview, and you can see what it would look like on a normal lock screen. It's actually the time it is right now, the day and everything. It even has the slide to unlock going, so this is really high quality. You can tell that they took time to put this together. You can see the fire seems to be coming from um, the actual stuff itself, and this is what it would look like minus the bar at the top. This is what it would look like. That's pretty cool. So, um, basically what you would do is, uh, you'd be like, oh, okay, I want that. Now, you can either choose to place a photo in the back or add direct decoration. Now, this is when it gets pretty cool. You can add yourself some sticky notes. So, basically what you do is you can put the sticky note wherever you want, double tap to edit, you edit your text, and, um, let's see, I already have, uh, some text right now that I have. Let's paste that. Don't forget to do the dishes. And it has it right there on a little sticky note. Don't forget to do the dishes, and this will be right on my uh, homepage. So next time I open up my iPhone or my iPod Touch, don't forget to do the dishes. Um, say you don't like that, instantly delete it. You can go over here, you can look, and you can see a calendar for June. Uh, you don't want a calendar for June? Get one for July. Or get one for May. But they have ones going three months in advance, and they're going to keep updating those. They have different types of calendars, and, of course, they have all these different decorations that you can use. Pretty cool, and tons of cool stuff. So basically what you'd use if, say, you didn't want that, is you would download your, um, no, you would save your lock screen. So say I wanted to save that. And then it tells you instant instructions on how to do it. And of course, you guys know how to do it. Um, you just go into your settings, wallpaper, camera roll, and you set this as your lock screen. It's pretty cool. It's a great app. Definitely worth 99 cents. Worth you guys checking it out. And um, this app is uh, 4.5 out of 5 stars. And it's part of the cream of the crop playlist. Go to my um, YouTube page to check out all the different cream of the crop apps and um, these are like the best of the best of my reviews now there's also the opposite spectrum which is the crap apps crap spelled like c-r-a-p-p -P, crap um <laughs> a little pun there uh crap apps and those are bad uh bad apps that we're telling you to look out for but these these are pretty cool apps um all right guys don't forget we're sponsored by insanity and see you guys on the next app line bye